entitled NFL player with $38 million contact compared himself to a slave, gets brutal smackdown. Over the last year, NFL players have been busy protesting the national anthem claiming that they are drawing attention to racial inequality in America. It is evident that they are missing the irony in their protest considering that these players are paid millions of dollars for throwing a ball and catching it, but that is a different story for another day. At any rate, each week players kneel during the national anthem while the extreme left applauds their misguided protest comparing these entitled players to key civil rights activists of the past. Now, these arrogant NFL players actually believe they are fighting a holy war against racial prejudices in America instead of the ignorant individuals they really are. Well, Michael Bennett who is an active national anthem protester who also started flashing the black power fist has stepped over the line with his latest unintelligent statement concerning his place in the NFL and is now receiving massive backlash. Last year, when Colin Kaepernick took a knee in protest, we all hoped his antics short-lived, but sadly that was not the case as more players have picked up where Kaepernick left off. Now, players in the NFL are kneeling each week comparing the league they work for to slave owners and themselves as slaves. However, Michael Bennett of the Seattle Seahawks took that sentiment one step too far when and compared himself to 19th century slave Dred Scott. Yeah, you read that correctly. Bennett who will make around $15.4 million this year dared to say that he was being treated like a slave all because Jerry Jones wants his players to stand for the national anthem. And here are Bennett's excerpted words. I just thought it, Jerry Jones comments, reminded me of the Dred Scott case. You are property, so you don't have the ability to be a person first. And I think in this generation I think that sends the wrong message to young kids and young people all across the world that your employer doesn't see you as a human being, they see you as a piece of property. And if that's the case, then I don't get it. I just don't get why you don't see him as a human being, they don't see us as human beings first. If you were not familiar with the Dred Scott case let me give you a quick rundown of the landmark case. Dred Scott was a slave whose master traveled with him to free states in the years leading up to the Civil War. Scott challenged his slavery to the Supreme Court stating that his enslavement was over since he had been taken to a free state and lived freely there. The Scotus disagreed saying that once a slave you were always a slave despite whatever state you found yourself in. So, for Bennett to compare his employment to slavery is downright insulting to those who were slaves in the past. First of all, Employment it is not the same thing as enslavement since as an employee you are free to leave whenever you want, and as a slave, you are not. And, to prove that point out kick the coverage slams Bennett's stupid argument with this epic smackdown. Here are top three reasons Bennett should be ashamed of this statement. 1. There are no similarities between multimillionaire athletes and slaves. Slaves, and I can't believe I am writing this are not allowed to stop being slaves. If Bennett does not like what his boss tells him to do, he can quit and get another job. Every single person who is not self-employed and is reading this right now has a boss who assigns job responsibilities for them. This is not slavery, this is called working. 2. If you are paid to do a job, you are not a slave. Again, I can't believe I have to write this. That's because you are being paid for your labor which is the exact opposite of being a slave. Slaves were not paid and they also did not have paid vacation, collective bargaining agreements, six months without work requirements every year, and the ability to strike if their work conditions were not appropriate. Performing work in exchange for pay is not, and has never been, slavery. Any analogy comparing the two should be ridiculed by anyone with a functional brain. 3. You don't have the right to make political statements in your uniform at work. I can't think of any other employee who can make a political statement while wearing a uniform at work. Not a single one. Hell, you can't even do it in the NBA, which mandates that all players stand for the national anthem. Imagine if a soldier in uniform, a police officer, a FedEx or a UPS driver, a McDonald's or Walmart employee decided to share a political opinion with you when they interacted with you in their uniform at their job.
If a police officer pulled you over and told you to vote for Donald Trump or Hillary Clinton, you'd think that person should be reprimanded or fired, right? If a soldier kneeled during the anthem, he'd be court-martialed if he didn't obey orders to stand. If a UPS or FedEx driver showed up at your house, delivered a package and then told you abortion was murder, would you think that was appropriate? If a Walmart employee told you the Second Amendment was crap when you bought a gun or bullets, would you think that person deserved to keep their job? In every example I just gave you, you'd find it strange for an employee wearing the uniform of his employer to give you his or her political opinion while working. So how have so many people just embraced the idea that NFL players should be able to endorse political stances while wearing the uniform at their job? Especially when those political stances directly reflect upon their employer, potentially in a highly negative manner. NFL ratings are down 17.8% since Colin Kaepernick's protest began. Regardless of whether you agree or disagree with the political stance of an individual player, many people in these highly charged times are not going to agree. That's billions of dollars in potential lost revenue. Put simply, protests during games are bad for business. Of course, there are more reasons that prove Bennett's statement is grossly inaccurate, but these seem to encompass it nicely, don't you think? These NFL players have every right to protest whatever cause they choose when they are not working. For Bennett and the rest of his buddies to say that they are being treated as slaves since people do not want to see them protest is disgusting and shows how ignorant they indeed are. Maybe if they flipped open a book every once in a while and read some history, they would learn something, but till then we will have to listen to these sound bites and wonder how they got this far in life. Share if you are sick of entitled football players lecturing Americans on topics they know nothing about. about.